You know, in some places, a gallon of bottled water can cost more than a gallon of gasoline. And in a disaster area, water gets even more expensive. Eric English from our affiliate WPTV reports on a company that's found a new way to supply water during emergencies. Now, today is a fantastic day for making water. For anyone who doubted you could squeeze water from the hot, humid Florida air, here's your proof. There's the water. David Murphy says his company's found a way to pull more than 1,000 gallons of water from thin air. FEMA officials proudly displayed the latest in air-to-water technology, all mounted on a mobile platform, ready to supply fresh water wherever it's needed. We are convinced that this is an incredible innovation uh, that will, will be the future of disaster response. Operators fill five-liter bags with safe drinking water, all captured from the surrounding atmosphere. In conditions like today, you could easily make a thousand gallons of water. How it's done is complex. It is not a giant dehumidifier like some people might think. This is a very different technology using what we call hygroscopic media. But the secret lies with lithium chloride, an extremely salty solution that draws the water molecules from the air. FEMA now has two of these half million dollar self-contained emergency stations. We can pre-position this machine right outside of a disaster zone and move it in immediately afterwards and begin to see it crank out up to 1,200 gallons of clean drinking water right away. For about 40 cents per gallon, the air-to-water process can be more cost-efficient than trucking in bottled water. We can make water out of the air, and because this, uh, uh, the technology, the water itself is very pure. FEMA officials hope they won't have to use these machines, but say they could be critical if a disaster strikes. And Eric English, again, we'd like to thank him for seeing an affiliate WPTV for that report. Now, the company Aqua Sciences is also under contract to provide water to U.S. troops serving in Iraq.